In North Dakota, we've, uh, we've done a lot of predator research and originally we started working on what we now call, quote, high grass areas. Areas that had in the landscape, around 20 to 30 percent of the landscape was in grass. And that grass was that great CRP cover. In recent years, when we've evaluated that, we've seen this historic change due to the predator community. So in 95, we were getting 15% nest success in those areas without trapping. And now we're getting close to 40%. That's the disappearance of fox and the, and the abundance of, of uh, coyotes. Well, at 40% nest success, we really don't need to be doing predator management. So this year we're retooling and, and looking at predator management in a different landscape. Something more like this, where you have very little nesting cover. In areas where you have no CRP or very little, one or two patches in, in a township sized 36 square mile area, you've now got a very different landscape. And for mallards that are nesting in grassland cover, the choices are pretty limited. The roadside vegetation or that narrow strip of, of cover around the wetland. And so we've always found lower nest success in these low grass sites. And so perhaps these are the areas where we should, we should focus predator management. Areas where there are plenty of wetlands, right? There are wetlands to attract ducks, but they have bad nest success because of the lack of cover. So that's what we're trying this year. We're beginning some pilot work down here in North Dakota where, where we have only 5% of, of the landscape has grass nesting cover. So we expect poor nest success on the non-trapped areas. And the question is, what's going to happen on the trapped areas? We expect that we'll elevate nest success, but we're not sure how effective the trappers are going to be. Because if the predators spend much time in the croplands where we can't put a lot of traps, then we might have trouble catching predators. But we suspect that we're going to really improve nest success in these these types of landscapes where ducks are doing very badly without any sort of active management.